After meeting with community leaders this past weekend, Philadelphia Mayor Michael Nutter went public today with new strategies to combat flash mobs in Center City and University City. Action News reporter David Henry has the latest on this. Teenagers and their parents now have fair warning and face possibly severe consequences if they don't get the message laid out by Mayor Nutter today. We are not joking around. This is not a game. Recent outbreaks of random flash mob violence have pushed the administration to the edge. Mayor Nutter declared Center City and parts of University City are now off limits to teenagers below the age of 18 after 9 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. And he promised harsh penalties for violators, especially those who participate in the violence. If you assault a fellow Philadelphian, a visitor, or anyone else in this city, you are going to jail. And parents who don't police their own kids may also face criminal charges. Parents who have been repeatedly told what the right thing is and repeatedly thumb their nose at the system. But those are the types of parents that we're going to try to hold currently responsible. Yesterday, Mayor Nutter took to the pulpit of his church and laid the issue at the feet of the city's African-American community. Today, the local chapter of the NAACP backed him up. These aren't white children, these aren't Hispanic children. These African American parents and the children need to be known, need to know that somebody's watching them and we're not going to tolerate it. The mayor has enlisted leaders of the African American community to give the police extra eyes and ears to head off trouble before it starts. The police have added extra foot, bicycle, and mounted patrols, and parents are now on notice. It begins with our parents, and the excuses stop. Right now, policy changes are being implemented at Wisconsin State Fair Park after violence there last night. Fairgoers under the age of 18 must now be accompanied after 5 p.m. Good evening, I'm Toya Washington. And I'm Jason Newsom. And for Kathy tonight, those changes come after violent mobs attack fairgoers on the grounds and in the streets surrounding the fair. Police say large groups of teenagers caused problems and beat several fairgoers and police officers. Now we have some video of several suspects detained last night. Governor Scott Walker has deployed additional state patrol units to help with security at the fair. 12 News Mike Anderson talked to witnesses who saw what happened. That was a melee. It was, it was wild. I, I couldn't believe it. Just after 11 o'clock last night, squad cars were sent to State Fair. People were running around pulling people out of cars and uh, off motorcycles. There were complaints of battery, fighting, and property damage. There's huge groups of uh, uh, kids, I would say 16 uh, or 14 to 18. And they were, um, I see them throwing, it looked like peanut M&Ms at uh, cars, sticks at cars, screaming and yelling. Um, urinating on, on the front grass, I seen one guy doing, and it was just it was utter chaos. State Fair police say pockets of disturbances started at the midway and spilled off the grounds into the streets. And I see a uh, gentleman is just being uh, just being beat down, really. I mean, kids are just one after another coming, running, giving them the old 
stomp in action, couple fists thrown down, and I ran out there, picked the guy up. They're trying to get a gold chain, apparently. There are reports that it was racially motivated, blacks attacking whites, but the State Fair police say they have no evidence to support that. Most of the fights that we had were African Americans fighting with other African Americans. We did not have any reports of, of in, our, in our jurisdiction, of any racially motivated fight. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Monday, August 8th, 2011. I'm Darko, this is part two. My website is ggnonline.com. That's www.ggnonline.com. You can check out my channel on YouTube, ddarko2012. Otherwise, Global Government News has a group on Facebook. Check that out. Link will be posted in the YouTube's video description along with all the other headlines and links. Um, although I can't ever really see the statistics of the polls that I'm creating here on my own webpage, um, I don't know what's going on with it, but you can check it out. Uh, do you support a Libyan-style intervention in Syria by Western forces? I'll get into that news later on. Um, you saw what was going on with all these uh, flash mobs and that, and it's just totally ridiculous, right? And I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're just being uh, uh, pulsed by um, a lot of frequencies, um, psychotronic warfare, you know what I'm talking about. Um, just uh, I, I refer I talked about this before I covered it before about uh, certain types of frequency levels that can cause either depression or anxiety or violence I don't wonder if they're just cranking them up now in order to crack down preemptively before uh, the real stuff the real shit hits the fan um, okay London riots Twitter users face arrest for inciting looters so Twitter users could face arrest for inciting violence in the wake of two nights so see now they can go on and get you on Twitter which they've already been doing arresting teachers and that and fa and Facebook postings US shooting kills eight after family dispute and it says an alleged uh, family feud in northeastern US uh, state of Ohio has reportedly killed eight people including an 11 year old child and there's no motive just a normal occurrence in this uh, new world order says here Gaddafi forces launch uh, assault on Zlitin and then we have Libyan refugees in dire straits there's a tent city refugee camp uh, located uh, on the Tunisia border thousand refugees crossing the border into neighbor neighboring Tunisia sorry are facing severe shortages of food and medical care in makeshift camps uh, more news on Libya is RAF Ayatollah who criticized Libyan airstrikes the right man to be training our pilots talking about uh, questioning the role of a Muslim convert who heads the RAF pilot training college after he criticized British airstrikes in Libya is said that uh, he has been nicknamed the Air Force Ayatollah and he cast uh, doubts on the Allied line that NATO's bombing raids had prevented Colonel Gaddafi's troops uh, from massacring civilians in Benghazi uh, never mind the actual NATO bombing that is massacring uh, civilians in uh, Libya as well. He said he also warned against the RAF becoming an air corps of the rebel army. So, State Department urges Americans to leave Syria. Why? Well, because that's the next on the dock. That's the next on the list. And um, I've already covered this before about Project for a New American Century. But uh, let's go through it. So they're warning people because now that's the next one after Libya. They're going to start bombing Syria and liberate those people and spread a democracy, right? So it says here, Syria region steps up pressure on Assad regime. So now Syria's neighbors are increasing diplomatic pressure on the country as the regime continues a violent crackdown on anti-government protesters. Those are armed fucking protesters. They're not out there peacefully uh, burning themselves and, uh, you know, pacifism and utopia. No, they have armed weapons. They've, they've Syrians, uh, the police and authorities have found caches of weapons coming from outside sources and they're blowing up their infrastructure. Outside sources are blowing up uh, their infrastructure. So this, is, this isn't just a piddly ass protest. Anonymous hacks the Syrian Ministry of Defense, which means what? Anom anonymous is probably just another in in, uh, international intelligence, MI6, CIA, NSA uh, front. Anonymous. That's what it is, most likely. And um, so now they hacked the Syrian Ministry of Defense. So there you go, more bullshit. Ten days after 9 11, the U.S. government had already decided to attack Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Iran. That's right, and now Somalia, first drone strikes. Ooh, and now a famine, probably caused by harp type weapons, frying it just like they are in the United States, breaking records, uh, especially in Texas. And uh, we go down here and it talks about uh, the, what is it, uh, four or five star general. And uh, 
And this is all, of course, for what? To steal the oil and natural gas reserves of those attack countries. Deal uh, lets U.S. keep bases in Afghanistan. The draft of a strategic deal between Washington and Kabul envisions giving the United States the authority to set up permanent bases in Afghanistan. Hmm, sounds familiar. Sounds like Iraq. Yeah. Don't worry. Most Americans have amnesia, short-term memory, so they, they don't know. They don't care. They don't give a shit. U.K. trooper chops off dead Afghan fingers, but they'll hear that. No, they, that will be in their, uh, in their perception management says here a Scottish UK troopers chopped off the fingers of the dead Taliban insurgents in Afghanistan and kept the digits as souvenirs and good old boy neocon douchebags here in the United States uh, land of the free uh, basically will say, all right, that's awesome, man. He cut off his fingers. Yeah, get them towel heads, you know. And you know what? Those are just as bad as the urban people. And I'm referring to usually whites in the rural areas that are neocons are just as bad as the urban blacks and uh, 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 Mexicans that uh, are racist. So they're all racist. They all hate each other. They all love government. They all hate, love to complain about the government, yet they go to the government for help. Um, and so, yeah, it's just... It's really making me a hard to even want to be on this planet anymore at this particular time, watching people act like apes, uh, just attacking private property. And you know what? When I see the cops around there, I start to wonder, maybe maybe, maybe people do need this. But then again, I know that we're socially engineered. Uh, from the day we're born, we're born into a system that is uh, there to enslave us and uh, turn us into a bunch of apes, basically. And that's how uh, the Illuminists see us. And so it is your duty as a human, as a hopefully as a soul, if you believe in that, uh, to rise above all this bullshit, r really, <laughs> and become a better person and, and give the middle finger to these, to these devil worshippers because that's what they're doing. They're getting their way. Afghans protest NATO civilian killing. Uh, second crash kills 33 U.S. Afghan force. Second helicopter belonging to uh, U.S. NATO coalition has crashed. So more. Uh, and it says, uh, dead man, don't talk. U.S. Navy SEALs destroyed to cover up Washington's bin Laden execution hoax. That right, they dumped his body at sea. Yeah, what a bunch of more bullshit. SEAL Team 6 crash was an inside job, says Alex Jones. Breaking news, bin Laden heroes probably murdered to keep them quiet. That's right, from uh, veterans today. Then Stuxnet's virus opens new era of cyber war an Iran firm to thwart Israel cyber war. Mossad's murder machine kills another Iranian scientist and Israeli soldiers cross into Levian borders. Uh, it says here, 81 U.S. congressmen head to Israel and uh, it'll be paid for by the America's most powerful lobbying groups. And it says here, Mujahideen, uh, former U.S. officials, make millions advocating for terrorist organizations. Well, they are the terrorists. China urges crackdown on, ooh, terrorists. And then China willing to facilitate military cooperation with Russia's military office. And so I saw a Facebook post today uh, by a global, global government news member group member about uh, how farmers actually uh, have like what 20 percent of their last season's uh, crops and that uh, I don't know the exact number but uh, basically there's a lot less food than there uh, than there was last year and they were cutting hands farm hands and all that and uh, so this is and with everything that's going on now this is all staged this is all planned what they're doing right now just so the super congress can go in there and cut all of your social programs that you paid into and then call it austerity and so I guess what I'm saying is whatever happens in the near future, uh, prepare, get your water filters, uh, whatever you can do, make a plan. But whatever you do, stay away from the towns and the cities and the rest of the sheeple because they will bring you down. Thank you.